Well, the head of the CDC says wearing a mask can help the nation avoid the worst of the upcoming season, especially for students returning to school. tv 5s Blake Keller is live this morning with some tips to help your kids keep them on. Good morning, Blake. Hey, good morning, Veronica. Yeah, so imagine you send your kid off to school next month for face-to-face -face instruction. You let them leave the house with a Spider-Man mask or something like that, but they come home after the school day with an Iron Man on their mask. So uh, there seems to be some type of issue here. Well, we have a few tips that you can ensure your child wears their mask and wears it properly. Like I said, for my daughter, it's just like putting on her socks and shoes in the morning. This year's latest and most important school accessory, a face mask. Getting your child to wear one for an entire school day can sound daunting, but Parents.com executive editor Julia Dennison says it's best to make them fun. One dad had told his kid that wearing a mask turns him into a superhero. So then his kid's like, Dad, I want to be a superhero. But when it comes down to it, Dennison says kids are looking up to their parents, so it's best to lead by example. Lead by example. You can practice wearing one around the house and show them how to wear it in the house before you go outside with one. Parents, if you're unsure of what kind of mask to get your child, reach out to your child's school. Keep talking to your school, keep talking to your teacher, and practice now. Now while well, it's the summertime before you start school. Dennison adds kids would more than likely wear something they created. So make mask making a fun DIY project at home. Yeah, I think there's a lot you can be doing to encourage your kids to wear masks. I actually think that in some ways, kids can be even better than adults when it comes to wearing masks because they, they just accept it as the norm and they just do it. And while a mask will play a role in protecting your child, make sure they understand basic hygiene. So even though a mask is great, and it's very helpful, you still have to be washing your hands and you still have to be watching out for basic hygiene. It doesn't make you um, invincible. <laughs> Now, another point that Dennison makes is making sure that your child's mask fits properly. No gaps, fits over their nose and covers their mouth, and isn't too loose to where they are constantly touching their face. Reporting live this morning, Blake Keller, WNEM TV5. Some great advice. Thank you, Blake. Well, you